Hello, and welcome to another Moog demo library. In this video, we're going to look at using Muse to perform analog FM synthesis. FM, or frequency modulation synthesis, uses a network of oscillators all modulating each other's frequencies and gives us a really wide palette of sonic possibilities. FM synthesis lay a bit dormant until the middle of the 1980s because the amount of oscillators needed and the stability needed from those oscillators made FM synthesis pretty impractical using analog circuits. But the astounding leaps of price and availability of digital components in the 1980s combined with FM synthesis to cause a revolution in synthesizer design. All of a sudden, you can make a synthesizer with extremely stable digital oscillators and use FM synthesis to extract a wide palette of sounds from that synthesizer. And better yet, it was far cheaper than its analog counterparts. Typically, the cold and metallic sounds we associate with FM synthesizers are at odds with the warm and lush sounds we associate with analog synthesizers. Muse's voice path and oscillators are fully analog, but we've packed Muse with a number of features that make performing FM synthesis in the analog domain uniquely interesting and fun to explore. With FM synthesis, you typically want to use oscillators with wave shapes that have low amounts of harmonics, things like sine waves and triangle waves. So let's first take the three analog oscillators of Muse, the two main oscillators and the modulation oscillator, and make them triangle waves. Just by putting the wave mix all the way to the left and turning the wave shape to triangle. Let's also put the modulation oscillator in tune with the main oscillators, bringing it up in the mix, pressing audio and key track. And then if we just hold, we can tune with frequency knob. And by holding shift, we can make more fine tune adjustments. Right now, all of our oscillators are in tune, but typically in FM synthesizers, you tune oscillators to harmonic ratios. So let's tune oscillator two to a perfect fourth above oscillator one. Just by bringing oscillator one in the mix and two, and we can bring up oscillator two's frequency. Again, use shift for fine adjustments. Now we have oscillator one and two in a perfect fourth relationship, which sounds quite nice, but we're going to instead now use oscillator two to FM oscillator one by turning on routing from two to one and then turning up the FM amount. The last piece of the puzzle here is to dynamically modulate this control. In FM synthesizers, you have the frequency modulation going through a VCA, basically, which opens and closes the modulation with an envelope. So let's take the filter envelope and use that to modulate the FM amount. You can already hear the kind of slappy metallic sound of an FM bass. And we can go into the mod map and adjust that depth further if we like. And adjust the envelope itself. By enabling one to two, we enable cross modulation. which adds a lot more harmonics as well. Unique to Muse is that we can scale the amount of modulation going from two to one or one to two. So maybe we want just a bit of modulation from one to two, whereas we want full modulation from two to one. So what we can do is we can go to the more menu and pull, pull down the one to two FM max amount. To kind of tame that upper squawk. And we can also maybe pull up the two to one FM min amount. And we can 
can also play with the octaves of oscillator two. So this ability to configure the min and max amounts of FM modulation going in both directions, as well as the ability to dynamically modulate the FM amount, makes Muse a uniquely powerful synthesizer for exploring analog FM. But while the oscillators on Muse are stable, they'll never be as stable as the digital oscillators in a dedicated FM synthesizer. But this gives FM synthesis with Muse its own unique flavor. We can add a third oscillator into the mix or in the parlance of FM synthesizers an operator with the analog modulation oscillator set to sign. We already tuned it in line with our main two oscillators and we have a pitch amount and we can route that modulation to either of the two oscillators. And just like the FM amount knob, we can dynamically modulate this with an envelope. We can also go into the mod map and see our FM routings here, the filter envelope to the oscillator FM amount control and the filter envelope now to the modulation oscillator pitch amount, but we can swap the filter envelope on the second for the VCA envelope to see how that sounds. And adjust the depth. both envelopes of Muse to give different shapes to the different dynamic FM paths we have going on here. And we can even turn on velocity for both envelopes, which will allow us to use the velocity of our playing to adjust the amount of FM depth. <laughs> Using the power of the analog FM engine on Muse in combination with things like the analog filters and the diffusion delay make Muse a fascinating instrument to explore analog FM.